Welcome back to RV Today. As most experienced RVers know, things tend to wear with age. We all do, including this guy right here, a gas door prop. So we're going to replace it with the help of Bill Gare here at Bill's RV Service in Ventura, California. And these guys just wear out over time, don't they, Bill? Yeah, they stop holding the door up. And as you can see, if you let go of it, it just starts going right back down. It doesn't stay up like he's, it used he's to. He's getting a little tired of it hitting him in the head. Right. And you can see he's got a pretty good system with a bungee there, but <laughs> it doesn't look as quite as good as these. Well, that's pretty classy, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I think so. Okay, so we have to replace the uh, door prop. And what do we do first here? Well, they pretty much, uh, just this top on this, you can see the cap just kind of pulls back a little bit and it'll, yeah. it'll come right off of there. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the bottom bracket, it seems I was up against the frame, we're going to have to take it completely off. Let's see this here. So you've got the bracket here, and then there's the, uh, the and prop. They, and you can get bracket kits for them for mm -hmm. different applications. In this case, they're painted black already, so we're going to reuse those. Okay. So they run about 15 bucks at Camping Worlds, and the brackets are a couple of bucks for a kit. And, gotcha. And if you have doors that don't even have them at all, of course, you can even install those. So let me pop this off of there. All of these props are a little bit different. You know, the manufacturers tend to be a little bit different. and. As you can see, this one's a little bit different length. Right. It'll still work. And on this one here, it's got a spring-loaded clip, which really just snaps into place. Mm -hmm. And you have to release it with a screwdriver. So what we're going to do on this is we're going to snap the top in. And you can see the length difference. So we've got to change it. We want to mount this at static length. I see. So it's not going to go back in the top holes where it went before. We're going to have to re-drill it. Got some new holes there, and there it is. Yeah, and, and it's, it's quite simple. Okay, now this is number one, so that's not quite going to hold yes, the door. Yes, not quite enough, so we're going to have to go over to the other side and change that okay, one, too. Okay, so we, then we'll be done. Right. And there's number two. And, and you can see by, I've modified the length of this a little bit because yep. it's a little heavier shock, so make sure you get the correct shock for the correct weight of your door, and you may have to change them a little bit, and if you, of course, if you don't have them, then you install them where you need them. Right, but the point is, now, door is held up. Now it works. Beautiful. Now he doesn't hit him in the head anymore, and <laughs> we're all happy. Life is wonderful. <laughs> That's right. All right. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Thanks for your help. We'll be right back.